I'm Courtney, and I'm crazy for meat. Mm -hmm. I'm on a quest to learn how to make the dopest, juiciest, most flavor-packed meat dishes in the country. This is the best thing I've ever eaten in my entire life. Watch as I fangirl my way into the best kitchens in America. Let's do it. I'm going to eat a lot of meat along the way, and that makes me carnivorous. to assault my senses and try some hot chicken. I'm gonna test my limits and learn what makes this Nashville staple hurt so good. I'm excited to set my mouth on fire. So I came to Bolton Spicy Chicken and Fish. It's gonna be lit. No, really, like it's gonna, it's gonna be a lot of fire, lit, like really, like. Hello, I'm here. Hey. Hi. 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 So good to finally That's meet you in so person. Awesome. I have never had hot chicken before. Really? But it's it's a legend in Nashville, and you guys are the best of the best. Yes, top of the line. This looks like there's a process going yes. on here. Yes, I'm frying a little chicken up. So you got some chicken marinating in there. It looks right. like this is my spice that I marinate the chicken with. All right, everyone on the counter here, we're going to talk about, we'll say every okay. ingredient that's in there. One, One, two. Love, peace, Look. happiness, and joy. That's our recipe. So you buy that in the store? Tell me a little bit about Bolton's. Did the two of you started it together? Yes. yes. Is that fun, working with each other all the time? No. Well, <laughs> I'm pretty excited to set my mouth on fire, so what do you say we make some hot chicken? We ready. Well, we ready. Let's do it. All right, what is step one in this entire process? First, we put in the marinade. The only person that knows what's in it is Bolton himself. He's over there acting all quiet. You're not gonna tell me either? No. So then, you drop it in this batter that you got going on? Toss it around, dangle it a little bit. If you overcrust it, it can cause it to scorch. So now you can walk over there where Bolton is. You can't get scared of the green. I'm not scared. Okay. Okay, going in. Easy. Easy now. You will see it cooking. When you see it cooking, then it start turning color. This right here, you're in a small skillet. So it's going to humor all your flavor and stuff right here. It's not going to leave. So skillet pack is just a confirmation that you're going to jam pack it with all the delicious flavors. Uh, keep, keep poking at it. Keep poking it. It lets air into your chicken. So it's a different brand of love. We're going to take this nice big piece of leg quarter, nice golden brown. I'm going to garnish it with our dry rub. Am I going to die? It depends on the level of how much I put on there. I'm going to put you a little pickle on top of there. Pickles like is a staple for it's it because... A, a little vinegar off the pickle gives it a pop taste. If you're dying from the spice, the pickles will help you? No, it won't help you. Nothing will help you? No, it won't help you. Now that this is all prepped and ready to eat, what do you say we give it a try upstairs? Sure, let's go. So we got three different things here right now. We got the chicken on a stick. Correct. Which you said is good for millennials like me who are on the go. And then these are some wings, and then we got the staple quarter chicken. Chicken six medium. Chicken wings are hot. Correct. And this is that extra, extra hot. I'm excited, but I'm very nervous. You got me? You got me for support? I got you, girl. We can do this. OK. Bypass your lips a little bit. Ooh. OK. Your body will adjust in a little bit. It tricks you. You think it's salty at first. Creeps up on you. I don't want to talk. I don't want to open my mouth. Why? Right. It's a pepper blend. You got different effects. You got one to hit you when you first get in your mouth. Bam. Then you got one that kind of like comes up out of you. It start illuminating out yeah. of your stomach. I feel like I'm drinking lava. <laughs> Holy. I've never heard that one. Now I understand why you say bypass your lips. <laughs> my lip holes. My mouth hole, I'm getting dizzy. You wanna try a wing? I'll try a wing. Next up! Oh, it hurts so good! Yeah, it hurts so okay, good. Okay, going for it. Here we go. Yep. You don't think it's gonna be very hot. Then it really, it's like, oh, you didn't think I was there? Well, bam! There it comes. Oh! I know. 
There you go. I feel like I'm on a roller coaster. That's your endorphins coming out of your brain. <laughs> what spice do you usually have? Mild. So what the f are you doing to me? I want you to get the experience. The, there's like a definite line of spice that's going down and shooting towards my lips. Right. The spice really seeps into it. So even if you get a piece that doesn't have the breading on it with the specific level of heat that you want on it, it's so juicy. We're good. Let's do round three. So you got the spice, the pickle. pickle Can you bread. see me right now? I'm shaking. It's yeah, like I such a, I'm like, Argh! hold my hand, man, hold my hand. Good blend. That's smooth. Yeah. Nope. God, that one gets you, that one gets you, that one gets you. Yeah, it gets you, it gets you, it gets you, but you'll be okay. <laughs> I blacked out for a second. How can I be in pain and enjoying every second of it? Because you're hitting that part of the brain that likes it both. It's the dirty side of my brain. Yeah. <laughs> you really taste the peace and the uh, a hint of love, the nice fine brush of happiness. <laughs> so I can surely see the joy on your face. When you get the whole experience of the crunch and the spice, you're a goner for a good 30 seconds, and then you come back. Yeah. And then you're yeah. back in it and you're a goner again. Yeah. It's honestly a roller coaster. You're just up, you're down, up, <laughs> down. You gotta hug me. I need to hug you. I feel like, come hold me. Hold me. I'm gonna hold you. Oh, Courtney. I'm here at the Westwood Baptist Church. I'm gonna meet with Quint and Candace of the Flaming Bird, a hot chicken food truck. They're new kids on the blog and they're doing something a little different with their recipe and I'm gonna find out what it is. Probably not though, cause secrets, but I'm gonna try. I'm here in the kitchen with Quint and Quint's better half, Candace. They are the owners of a really dope food truck called the Flaming Bird. Yes, my own. When did you know you wanted to make hot chicken? Like, what? how did you get started on it? When I was a little boy, my mom used to send me to get her hot chicken, and I used to always try and make it in the kitchen. I went through a lot of chicken, a lot of seasonings, and about 20 some odd years later, now I'm making hot chicken. I mean, you were probably around for it. Was it a lot of trial and error? A lot of trial and error. Seeing him be like, well, try this. Oh, you probably tried all the different versions. I tried every last one of them. I, it was some no's, and then there was some that was like, okay, we're getting closer. And then when did you solidify your, your recipe? After about 112 chicken parties, I would try something new, something different. It just started to come together when people right. was like, nah, that's the one, that's the one. Let's talk about what you use. On the count of three, everyone say the ingredients. One, two. Everything. Okay, well, that was something. So you gotta have some love. You gotta have passion for what you do. That is an ingredient. Everything in love, that's, that, that's how you make your chicken. And that's how you make your chicken. Well, what's the first step? We're gonna put a nice little concoction of seasoning that I find that this blend works well. We're straight in Just with give love. Give it some love. You're gonna make someone really happy, chicken. <laughs> now that will be some good chicken. Put it back into a bag. Okay, it smells smoky. After the chicken's been marinated and getting all seasoned and juiced up and flavorful, what is the next step? Make the sauce. That's the magic part. What's the benefit of doing a sauce rather than a dry rub? You, you, you control the amount of peppers that you use in each one. So therefore, when you go back to use it the second time, it's gonna taste just like the first time. As soon as it's out of the grease? Yeah. Yes. Put it in while it's hot. Drop it when it's hot. Just to burst the flavors. I can let you do it. There's, there's absolutely no particular order except for we'll do the oil last. Oil's last. Just drop it in. Wow. I love it. Mm -hmm. When you were first trying to figure out your spices, this is where you were able to change things up? He was trying to get his own signature taste and feel to his chicken. This is where the tweaking and the masterminding came in. Exactly. This part. Add it all. Add it all. We all pretty much use cayenne pepper and paprika. There we go. Smoke it. Is it time to go? It's time to go. Are we gonna start going in the food truck? Yeah. Can I drive? Yeah, can I you drive the food truck? You can drive it. Can you fry things while you're driving? No. It's time to make some hot chicken at the Flaming Bird. Hot chicken time. 
We go into the milk first. You get them drenched in, what is that? It's milk stuff. and some... And some stuff. Some and, stuff. and you throw it over in the flour and you coat it really good. Okay. Are you paying attention to me? Are you helping me? No, you helping me, but I'm watching you. I'm doing good? Yeah, we making a hot chicken. I need constant attention and praise and love. I'm like these chickens. <laughs> you are beautiful and delicious. Swim them in How there. Do you just swim. There you go. See, All look right. at that, Courtney. I knew it. Right. Now you're cooking hot chicken. This is step two. Now that everything's all been dropped, hanging out here under this heat lamp until it's time to make the orders. So we started mild, medium, hot, and we have a flaming on the end. Okay. And get a good stirring going. Oh, I can actually smell it from up here. Then you put your chicken in. Just takes in all the juices. Come on, look at that. That looks so good. I like testing my limits, but I know it's gonna be incredible. Oh my. Oh. All right, I'm excited to give this a Try. See you on the other side. Whoa! First of all, okay. That's the flame. The chicken, it just breaks apart. It melts in your mouth. Incredible. The heat just shot up right to my forehead. A little bit inside my ears somehow. <laughs> it's just so tingly, but it's good. You just got hit by the bird today. Uh, you want to chase that flavor and that heat. It hurts, but I don't want to stop. The spice and like messing with your taste buds and messing with what you're able to handle is like what keeps you coming back for more. But you can tell that you guys just put so much time and effort into every step of the way with this. We love the hell out it's of it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys. Thanks for teaching me about this. Hey, you. I, uh... I hope you enjoyed watching me suffer, but it made me a better human. And uh, I feel like I can be a better human for you now because I have some tips to share with you about eating hot chicken, because I'm an expert now. You ready? So mild in other places is probably mild, like you would believe it, but mild in Nashville is really hot. It's hot. So uh, when you're ordering something and you get mild, it's gonna be hot. Just, that's the tip, run with that. Avoid touching the hot chicken directly to your lips. Use bread or a fork to avoid the touching because it will burn. A lot, and you'll get an involuntary lip plumping situation happening. But it's still good, but it hurts. Wash your hands before touching your eyes or your face or using your fingers ever again because you'll still feel and taste and see those spices for a few hours or days. Don't speak directly after eating because the air just elevates the heat and makes it way worse in, in your mouth. When you decide you want to be a badass and oh, look at me, I never had hot chicken before, I'm gonna have the extra, extra hot, don't do it because feels the exact same way coming out as it does going in. Just looking out for you, buddy. No time to be a hero. Remember that. <laughs>